Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have something super fun for you guys because we just got back from Exuma Bahamas. Oh my gosh, the water was literally turquoise blue and there were so many cute animals. I'll show you guys what to do, where to go, and where to eat, so keep watching. So let's start off with the technical stuff. You'll definitely want to rent a car. We rented a RAV4, which was super helpful because there's only one paved road and everything else is all rocks and dirt. We also decided to rent an Airbnb and we hit the jackpot because it was super spacious and had a big back deck that was right on the water and it was so secluded, we felt like we had the whole side to ourselves. They had everything from a grill to a cooler and even paddle boards and kayaks. So of course, if you're lucky with your rental and they leave kayaks or paddle boards, you should definitely go kayak those blue waters. One of our favorite beaches was the Tropic of Cancer and we basically had the entire beach to ourselves. You have to cross the tiny bridge to Little Exuma and then you'll see a sign to turn left into and keep going down until you see this little hut, which is usually a beach bar run by some locals, but it wasn't open when we went on a Sunday. The water here is so turquoise, almost like the color you see in Gatorade bottles. And it was a little wavy, but we did go on a super windy day. Also, check out Forbes Hill Beach, which is another beautiful beach on Little Exuma. This one definitely has some stronger waves, but it was still really nice and no one was there. And we even met some friendly and cute little island dogs. Hi, sit. Can you sit? <gasps> Good girl. Hooper's Bay is a must. So you'll notice that parking for beaches is a free-for-all in Exuma. So when you see a beach access sign, just park anywhere near there and walk the path down. This path led us to a beautiful view of the bay and the water was so nice and the waves were kind of strong, but still fine for swimming. And one thing I was super excited about was that there were supposed to be turtles here. If you want to see the turtles, make sure you head to the third dock down and they'll be swimming right by the shore. This was probably the coolest animal encounter I've ever had, and we had some extra lettuce that they came right to us for, which was so cute. Oh, you just bit his butt! No! Just don't, his butt. don't do that! Definitely try to rent a boat from Minns in Georgetown so you can have the freedom to explore the harbor because that was probably one of the best decisions we made. It's a lot cheaper than doing the tour, so we found it more worthwhile. Also, don't worry if you're a beginner boater because it was pretty easy and you can just anchor the boat near shore. One of the first stops you should make by boat is Chat and Chill, which is this really cool beach bar area. We got there early, but they don't open until 11.30. And also, if you don't rent a boat, you can take a water taxi, like Elvis's in Georgetown. The place is super chill and has picnic tables, volleyball, cornhole, swings, and of course, they're super famous for the stingrays that come by to feed off conch. This was my first time being so close to a stingray, and they are actually huge, but they're pretty gentle, and if you want to feed them conch, put the meat between your fingers and they will swim over and suck it up like a vacuum. Also make sure to stop by the conch salad bar. The chef grabbed a fresh conch caught that morning. And if you've never seen a conch before, they're kind of like this snail creature that lives in a huge shell. It was pretty cool seeing him chop up the fresh ingredients and he even took out the conch right in front of us and cut up only the edible parts so you really can't get any fresher than that. And bring cash because it costs $10 for a bowl. I'd say the dish is pretty similar to ceviche, especially since the seafood is cured in lime juice, and the texture of the conch was kind of chewy, but definitely something worth trying. How is it? Fresh. It's citrusy and tastes all the different fruits. And onion is a perfect combination. So let me repeat, make sure you rent a boat because exploring Stalking Island by boat was one of the most amazing things I've done. Alright guys, I'm on my boat! <laughs> 
There's really nothing that compares to being able to ride your own boat to multiple secluded beaches and keys, and we loved being able to follow our own timeline. The beaches were super serene and had the best water, and you can use the map that the boat rental provides. There's beaches like Sand Dollar Beach and Starfish Beach that were my absolute favorites. Now on to food. I will say Exuma is not a foodie destination, but there are a few gems worth visiting, like Blue on the Water. This restaurant was located right by the water and had a really cool outdoor setup. We ordered some drinks and chicken quesadillas plus conch sliders, which were pretty good, but dinners do get expensive because we ended up paying 90 bucks. Another must-see restaurant is Hallover Bay Bar and & Grill, and the outdoor space had the coolest design. It gave off a really nice beachy vibe and had this cool archway thing that overlooked the bright blue waters and the sandbars when it's low tide. Definitely a great place for photos. The food was good but a little expensive, so I'd recommend just coming for drinks and enjoying the view. There's a lot of sea life in these waters, and we even saw a baby lemon shark and a starfish. Splash Bar and Grill is another place with a great view. It's part of the Hideaways Resort and had a beautiful patio that was steps away from the beach. The beach is really nice and calm, so a perfect place for kids or kayaking or just to relax. We ended up ordering a veggie pizza and then we hit up the beach which is split by the calm side and the other side is Jolly Hall Beach which is a little rougher but regardless every beach on Exuma was beautiful. And that's the end of our time in Exuma. I already missed that turquoise water but I can't wait to see you guys on the next adventure.